This video is about the behavior of the failure rate of equipment. The failure rate is uh, denoted by small r as a function of time uh, t, because the failure rate is changing over time. Different behaviors are uh, possible, so we can have an increasing failure rate, so then the probability of failure increases over time. That also means that it can be beneficial to carry out preventive maintenance at some age when the risk of failure becomes too high. Another uh, possibility is a decrease in failure rates. It can happen uh, with electronic components, and there the probability of failure decreases over time. If that's the case, we should not do any preventive maintenance, because a new machine has a higher probability of failure than an older machine. Uh, failures can also occur uh, completely randomly over time. Then we talk about a constant failure rate, and then preventive maintenance has also no effects. And then the pattern could also be more complicated, so we could also have, for instance, that the failure rate is first going down and then going up again. If that's the case, then we talk about the bathtub-shaped failure rate. Then the mathematical definition of the failure rate, uh, it's the density function divided by the reliability function, or you could also say the density function divided by 1 minus the distribution uh, function. Uh, that number can be larger than 1, so it's not immediately a probability. But if we multiply the failure rate by delta t, small delta t, then we get this. And then you can interpret it as a probability, because then it's uh, approximately the probability that failure happens in the time interval with length delta t. It's an approximation, and the smaller you choose delta t, the better this approximation becomes. Let's then see what we get for the uh, viable distribution that we already uh, know. So again, the definition, one of the two definitions of the failure rate function, it's a density divided by 1 minus the distribution function. And you see in the denominator, we have 1 minus 1 that cancels out, and also the two minus signs cancel out against each other, so then we get uh, this. And then you see that in the numerator, we have this exponent, and we divide by it in the denominator. So those two cancel out, and then we only have this uh, left. And then the behavior of this failure rate depends on the value of k. So if k is greater than 1, then this power is positive, then we have an increasing failure rate. If k is smaller than 1, that power is negative, then we have a decreasing failure rate. And if k is exactly equal to 1, then it's just constant the failure rate, so then we have a constant uh, failure rate. We can also put it in a graph, so this is for a viable distribution with lambda equal to 1 and a various values of the shape parameter k. And you see indeed that if k is smaller than 1, then we have a decreasing failure rates. If k is equal to 1, then we have a failure rate that is constant over time. And if k is larger than 1, then we have an increasing failure rate. And the higher the value of k is, the faster this failure rate is increasing. And it also means that if uh, k is higher, then the benefits of preventive maintenance are also uh, larger. So let's summarize that on this uh, new slide. So the failure rate of the viable distribution is increasing if k is larger than 1, is constant if k is equal to 1, and is decreasing if k is uh, smaller than 1. That means that if you have a data set and if a single viable distribution provides a good fit for that data, then you can immediately conclude that preventive maintenance should only be performed if the shape parameter k is greater than 1, so if you have an increasing failure rate. If a single viable distribution provides a good fit, and if k is uh, equal to 1 or below 1, then you can immediately conclude that the optimal preventive maintenance policy will be uh, to not perform any preventive maintenance. Then about uh, bathtub-shaped failure rates, so it can very well be that initially the uh, likelihood of failure is relatively high because there can be something wrong with equipment, so there can for instance be construction faults, and then later on the failure rate is maybe going to increase again, and then because of deterioration. In that case we talk about the bathtub-shaped failure rate, so then we get a failure rate that is something like uh, this. If you have a single viable distribution, then you can never have a better shape failure rate, because a single viable distribution always has either an increasing or a decreasing failure rate. But if you have a mixture of two viable distributions, then you can see that uh, bathtub uh, shaped pattern. And that occurs if one of the two viable distributions has a relatively low lambda, and that viable distribution should then have a shape parameter k that has a value below 1. And then the second viable distribution should have a relatively large scale parameter lambda with a corresponding shape parameter that is greater than uh, 1. 
And if you get this, then you expect that preventive maintenance will be beneficial during the, de uh, the deterioration phase. So when the fill rate is going up again. So if this happens, then you will get a failure rate like this. So first going down and then later on going up again. And then if you are going to determine the optimal uh, age based maintenance policy, then you expect to do preventive maintenance somewhere here where the failure rate is going up again. And then here you see another example of a bathtub shaped uh, filler rate that followed from mixing two viable distributions. Uh, last thing that's maybe good to mention is that if you continue to plot this filler rate for large values of t, then at some point this filler rate is going to decrease again. And that's always what you will get if you mix two viable distributions. It's more a theoretical phenomenon because uh, that's, uh, those high ages will never be reached, either because failure then has already occurred or because we already did preventive maintenance. So for modeling uh, bathtub shape failure rates, a mixture of two viable distributions is still suitable.